Good afternoon, everyone. July forecast, it's going to feel more like October temperatures than July. And that is going to be followed by snow in the western United States. Mount Washington, CAMS and Weather Station now able to change temperatures without even giving you a reason. Swirling eddy of melting sea ice off the coast of Labrador. The blob now exists in California. It used to be the cold blob in the Atlantic, but with the new media, they want you to think warm and warm is cold, so they're going to use the word blob, so when you think it'll be warm, not cold, the switcheroo. New article from Mashable, fishermen in New England struggling to catch fish. It's definitely related to rising ocean temperatures. But when we look back in time, you can clearly see the AMO and the fish count are locked up, as well as the northern hemisphere temperatures. I guess the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation regulates a lot more, and it's going into its cool phase. The news headlines blare. Get ready for a hot, wet, and wild summer across the United States. I guess that'll be after all these October temperatures pass through July. Oh, that might even be after all the snows passed out of the western United States as well. We'll get back to the warmest year ever sometime in the future. Mount Washington telling you that they can change their temperatures on their feed. Mean temperature departure from average through the first part of the year. Wow, during that exact same time. Global temperatures have dropped the second most ever recorded. Now, if we look over into the UK Met Office, they also show a steep drop off from last year's temperatures, far right bar. One thing we all can agree on is 12 out of 13 scientists agree global warming's a hoax. Uh, it's not CO2, it is cycles of the sun and our oceans. Newfoundland and Labrador, from space satellite images, ice swirling eddies. This is sea ice that's melting. It's more of like a hurricane formation on the surface of the ocean. If you go to Null School, I put the arrow there where I think that eddy is. A pilot sent in these shots. Look how massive that eddy is out there. Lower altitude view here, as well as what it looks like off the coast. The old bait and switch, the blob, used to be called the Atlantic cold blob has now been moved somehow to the west coast. When you think blob, they're trying to feed you warming. Yet the blob has been the Atlantic cold blob. They're trying to pull you down the path. Every time you hear the blob, you think warming, not cooling. What is the blob specifically? It's temperatures that are one to four degrees Celsius above the surrounding normal water. But every reference I'd known before this time was the cold blob. Back in February of this year, you can see the cold blob below Greenland. Fast forward to today's temperatures and you can see how it's actually moving a little bit south right along the coast of Africa. I wonder if they're going to have record cold temperatures and rain this year. Using NOAA's own data again, it doesn't look like significant warming off the coast of California, but it looks like significant cooling across Europe. And the cold blob's still visible, whatever we map we go to. It's the cold blob, the Atlantic cold blob. El Nino, NOAA surface temperature anomaly, comparison, 1997, 2015. This is the data set from the exact same time. You see the North Atlantic cold blob, a little bit far west Pacific, getting cool there as well. We come forward into July, and you can see what it is like today. New article out from Mashable. Fishermen in New England are struggling to catch fish. It's definitely related to the rise in the ocean temperatures. Yet the cold blob is exactly where they're fishing. Cod are long gone, but the fish population seems to follow the Atlantic multidecadal oscillation temperature. Interesting how our northern hemisphere temperatures also follow that exact same pattern on a 60 year cycle. And if you're wondering where the cycle is going right now, we're heading into the cool right along with the grand solar minimum, the intense La Nina that's coming up 60 year cycle here as well, trended out all the way back from 1912. So where do you think our temperatures are going to go this year? And why are they putting such a concerted effort out there to get you to keep thinking warming? And this last little nugget here, the red line is the multi-billion dollar disasters that the insurance companies need to pay out on. Now with this going forward, NOAA claims that we're going to go into infinity with billion dollar disasters. You might want to ask yourself, when do the insurance companies stop paying out on claims? 
the basement of currency. That's why we're getting into the billion dollar figures. Why don't we roll that back, say 10 years and start calculating the US dollar value at 10 years ago since the 2008 Lehman Brothers banking crisis, which is ready to roll back again this time with Deutsche Bank. So in a couple years, we could probably make this chart up to the trillions when we go into hyperinflation after everything collapses out and we're still printing paper with green ink on it. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. There's an all out blitz right now to get you to start thinking warm with the blob. So every time you think or say blob, the media wants you to say warm blob off of California, not the actual cooling AMO temperatures. It's the old bait and switch. They're trying to use you against you.